Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what are opposite numbers. Now, opposite numbers are on the opposite sides of zero, and they are the same distance from zero, so they have the same absolute value. Simply put, opposite numbers are the same number, but have the opposite signs. Let's jump into our examples and see exactly what all this means. Starting with number one, where we have the opposite of positive two. We're going to use a number line for number one to help us better understand opposite numbers. So positive two is right here. And as far as distance from zero, well, one, two. We have a distance of two from zero. And since we were working with a positive two, we were to the right of zero. Now we need the opposite. So we need to go to the left of zero, that same distance of two. So one, two, and we end up at negative two. So the opposite of positive two is negative two. And that makes sense. You can see that we just have opposite signs, positive two, which no sign indicates positive, or sometimes you'll see a plus sign to represent positive as well. So something like this. So the opposite of positive two is negative two. Let's move on to number two, where we have the opposite of negative five. And we're going to use the number line for this one as well, starting with negative five, which is right here. As far as distance from zero, well, one, two, three, four, and five. So we went to the left of zero and a distance of five. So the opposite would be to the right of zero, that same distance of five. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, and five, and we end up at positive five. So the opposite of negative five is positive five. And remember, no sign represents positive, or we can write it with a plus sign, so we can also do positive five like this. Either way, the opposite of negative five is positive five. Let's move on to numbers three and four. And for these, we're not going to use a number line. At this point, we can write the opposite numbers by writing the opposite sign. So for number three, we want the opposite of negative 68, which that's going to be positive 68. So we can write it without a sign, and that represents a positive 68, or we can use a plus sign to represent positive 68. Lastly, number four, we have the opposite of 27, which is going to be negative 27. So there you have it. There are the basics of opposite numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.